What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dave and this is Hudson Moto Visuals and today we're in the garage. We just got back from Daytona and it was an awesome trip. If you haven't seen any of those videos, take a look at the uh, previous videos I posted. We had a lot of fun with the boys, but we are back in cold, cold New Jersey, unfortunately, but it's okay. But today I received something in the mail that I was really waiting for and I actually saw it down in Daytona and it sealed the deal and I had to purchase it. It actually helps me do some maintenance on the bike. Um, the way it's going to be set up in here, it's going to be a little weird just for the fact that I do have a little hill going down into the driveway and as you can see my car sitting here. and. Um, I usually back it down the driveway. If I go forward into the garage, I have nowhere to turn around in here. We're a little tight, a lot of stuff. To tell you the truth, a lot of junk. But let's take a look. I just got it in the mail and I want to show you what I got. So here it is. The Condor Wheel Chalk. It's the PS1500 Pit Stop. Um, I saw this down in Daytona and I had to order one. I wanted to order one just for the garage and the garage here at my home is a little tight, but doing all the maintenance stuff on a kickstand kind of stinks, especially doing like oil changes and stuff like that. And also even with the Honda, you know, it's nice to have a wheel chalk to stand it up and do all these maintenance things on it. So, that's why I got it. But, let's open up this box. Alright, so I opened up the box here. Let's see what it comes with in here. Obviously, I probably have to assemble it but that's all right <laughs> nicely packed directions here please read first all the directions so here's the product in the box. We're gonna take it out and we're gonna assemble it. So give me one second, we'll be right back. So just taking it out of the box, it's a solid piece, has some weight to it, has some heft to it. Um, it's really solid. So you got the pit stop. Um, there's really nothing cheap about this thing, which I really like just by inspecting it. I mean, this is a, looks like a quality product. You know, what's great about it is you could use this on a trailer and put some bolts in there. But I am going to be actually using this for the garage for now. And then eventually when I get a trailer... We will uh, use it for the trailer. But let me assemble it and I'll show you. All right, so here it is. It's easy assembly. Um, <clears throat> first, what you have to do is you just have to take these uh, pins out. There's a bar that goes across here. And then you can free float it and put whatever size hole you want in here. Uh, then the same thing over here to put the uh, stand up or the, uh, the piece that's vertical here. Uh, you had to pull this pin out and it goes right through. That seems sturdy. You also have this pin here, which was attached already. That's just the hinge point. And this piece is for, if you're going to put it into a trailer, you buy some bolts and you can bolt it to the trailer. And then the last piece was this crossbar, the crossbar back here it was just to simple bolts right here and here 
nothing hard to assemble but <clears throat> there it is now let's see how it looks on the floor and we're going to put the harley on it i'm going to have to adjust this to get it to the right right spot where i want it but we'll try it a few times all right all right so here it is sitting on the floor um, like I said, my driveway has a slant coming down, and I'm obviously not going to take the bike into the driveway for, uh, head first, just for the fact that there's no way to turn around in this garage. So I'm actually going to be using this condor just as a uh, place where I could put the bike up and do maintenance and stuff like that. This will probably be tucked in the corner somewhere over here you know it'll be good for the honda as well so and also if i ever get a trailer we have one of these already so i'll show you what it looks like and how i got it up on the the stand there all right so let's put this down There you have it. All right, so there you have it. So, so there it is, the Condor wheel chuck, the pit stop it's called. Um, like I said, it's very well built. Uh, the metal they use, I think it's aluminum, I'm not sure what it is, or uh, it feels like aluminum, but these pieces are really thick. It has some heft to it. Uh, maybe is it steel? I'm not sure. But anyway, either way, it is very well constructed, uh, especially for this 800-pound motorcycle. Uh, I got it up on the wheel chuck, very easy, no issues, especially when the engine's on and I rolled it up. It took my time, as you saw. But, yeah, now I can do maintenance on the bike. And it's standing straight up. Um, like I said, when or if I ever get a trailer, this is ready to go. So it's a nice product, very well built. And so far, no problems with it. Obviously, I only put the bike on here twice because I did a practice run. And so I didn't embarrass myself. But like I said, this probably won't be a permanent thing when I, sorry about the wind, so this won't be a permanent thing in the garage, it will actually be on the side and then when I need to do maintenance I just put it up on the wheel chuck here, so the bike is straight up, it's nice, alright now let's get it back down. So there you have it guys, the Condor Pit Stop. It's a great wheel chuck for the garage. Like I said, I'm gonna use it for just doing standard oil changes and standard stuff on the bike. Even for trying to clean the bike, it'll be a little easier to get under there and clean everything. It is a quality made product. I mean, I really pushed this, pushed the bike on top of this and this thing didn't even, didn't even move. It was easy to get off a little, need a little bit of a push to get off, but it's okay. But I know Glenn 
has one of these and so does Robert Simmons. He has two in his trailer. They love the product so far, I love it too. So if you like today's video guys, please hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I'm almost at my goal of a thousand subs and it's gonna be a good day when we reach it. But I know once we reach it, that's when the real work begins. But um, please help me out, get to that goal. Also comment below which wheel chuck you use. Uh, like I said, this Condor wheel chuck, I saw it in Daytona. I had to have it. It's quality built, exceeding expectations right now. It is expensive, I'm gonna be honest with you, but for the build quality, you can't go wrong. So have a great day, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? You made it to the end of the video, but it's not over. I know you want to, just click this video right here. Right. If not, just subscribe. Thanks. Have a good day.